Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Tuesday Muse Day. Uh, I'm Kalani. This is World Drum Club and Tuesday Muse Day. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Sorry about the rough start. Software. That's all I have to say. Software <laughs> is our frenemy. But it works out. All right. A little restart, and we're in business. Hope you guys are in a good space today. And nothing around you is on fire. Let's keep on grooving. Today's theme is the groove. Let's go.
All right. I tried to do a, 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 uh, some kind of ending there. Uh, welcome, everybody. Welcome back. Um, I see lots of familiar names and some new ones over there. Um, all right. So welcome, everybody. Um, Roseanne, as always, thank you for kind of keeping things going, moderating. Uh, welcome. I saw Cornelius. I see Rebecca. Ariane, is that right? And Mari is here. Uh, let me go back to, let me see if I can find, let's see if I can find my own live stream. I try to, I try to be on here, you guys, with, uh, with everybody. Well, I see something. <laughs> I don't even know if I can find it. It's, uh, go looking for the, oh, here we go. All right, there it is. Yeah, it's a little different looking. Okay, Roseanne, Rebecca, Cornelius, welcome. And I don't know what this is telling me. Oh, there we go. I'm scrolling, you guys. Hang on, bear with me. Uh, Yoga Nise, welcome. Mr. Lacey, Charlie's here. Um, you guys, welcome. Oh, Bill, welcome. Uh, Rudy. And load 714. Um, all right. You guys jamming along, I hope. Um, yeah, we don't usually skip over and do another live stream, but today I had to do it. I don't know what was happening. I'm not sure why I couldn't start the same live stream again either. I don't know why it didn't let me do that. So I just started a new one, and but it wasn't scheduled. So it was, it's just, here it is. All right. So welcome everybody. I hope you're having a great week. I just got back from a week um, up in the mountains at the, it's called the summer solstice, even though it wasn't at the solstice, it's a little bit later this year, summer solstice uh, flute school, where I was one of the teachers at this Native American style flute camp for you, for adults. And it was so much fun. And uh, I'll, I'll talk more about flute schools later because there's an opportunity if you missed it and you want to go to a native flute school and learn from me and other people and uh, improve your playing, get into the flute. You, you have opportunities to do that, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, I did want to mention that today's kind of about the groove, and I want to go back to the idea that, you know, as a drummer and a percussionist and, and as a musician, um, you know, we're, we're all responsible for the groove, and really, I think the best thing we can do is just play a simple beat in, you know, in a, in a band setting or like if we're playing for people to dance, just, just playing... Um, a simple beat is great. Oh, and welcome, David. All right. Uh, so yeah, just just play a groove. Pretty simple. I know a lot of times I'm playing a lot of soloing stuff, but even today I tried to set a, a background and then just try to. I actually was focusing on playing in phrases during my solo instead of playing a bunch of licks and figures. I was trying to play in phrases and develop those phrases. You know, have a theme. Whatever it is, I'll give you an example uh, before we move on. But I was really in this idea of can I develop a theme? Can I take a little idea and just stick with it for a while instead of changing and changing and changing? So thereby giving it more of a groove factor, but also giving my music continuity, which is also important. So that touches on the idea that when you guys do solos, and I don't know if you're soloing on percussion or not, but when, whatever you're doing, if you take a solo or you're giving a talk, for example, because that's kind of what a solo is, right? Giving a talk, you want to have continuity. You don't want to have too many ideas. You want to have a main idea, maybe one theme and then maybe another theme and you can contrast them. You see what I'm getting at? It's almost like a good essay, all right? And you can even take it to the next step and connect with that kind of form in as much as you could have an introduction that has the themes in it, and then you have a middle section where you develop them and you kind of expound on them, and then you have a recap or a summary where you review them and restate them, right? So that's kind of essay in essay form in a way. So thinking more like that. Uh, so whatever you guys do, whether it's music or, or talking or writing, you can use that idea. And I think that's a good idea for us all to remember, all right? So that's one takeaway. Let me give an example of what I mean by kind of uh, taking a phrase or a little figure and developing it, sticking with it. All right, so I'm gonna put some of this music back on, these backing tracks, 
And uh, let's put them on kind of low volume right now. And this chord progression, I'll leave the chord progression on because the chord progression kind of helps because it's a longer phrase, but here it is. So I'm gonna kind of put this in the background. And I'm gonna play softly so I don't overpower the microphone here. But here's the, here's the idea. So I have a little phrase like... Right, something like that. Hopefully that gives you an idea, right? So I kind of have a theme and I'm just staying within that and I can play a lot of stuff and have variation, but I can also have continuity and have a lot of fun working with that theme. So not abandoning, here's a, here's a concept for you guys. Don't abandon the theme, all right? You get a little theme and what is the theme? I don't know, you just play something. <laughs> Whatever you play at the beginning is the theme. And, uh, and if you don't like it, if you don't like what you played or you don't feel like playing off of that theme, just play something else, right? It's early in your solo and play, some, play a few things. Hopefully you find something that kind of you're like, okay, I can work with that. And the fact is you can work with anything, all right? Because you could change it a little, you could repeat it, you can flip it around, play it double speed, play it half speed. You can do a lot of things um, to work with the theme. So. I wouldn't worry about what the theme is so much. I would say play something and then that's your theme, right? And then just stick with it, repeat it, develop it, play it different ways, play it in triplets, play it faster, slower, louder, softer, change the tones, uh, break it apart and play different sections of it and repeat. You know, you can do so much with just one theme. So that would be my kind of my music message for you all today uh, and the theme of playing in the groove so you're not leaving the groove too much um, and just kind of doing that. So will you guys do that? Practice that. Find some backing tracks, play with a drum machine, play with some music, play with your friends uh, or make your own recordings or get a looper like I do and like I have and, and you can put in some loops. All right. OK, it's time, you guys. It's time for here we go. Where's my keyboard? Ah, it's over there. Hang on. <laughs> Now I have to go retrieve my keyboard because I had to use it to restart. Okay, hang on, be right back. Are you guys ready? For those of you who are new, 
This is a this is a patented feature of the program, and it's called like you just saw. Guess the sound. All right, here we go. You guys need to guess the sound. It should be pretty easy. I think it's pretty easy today, but we'll see. All right, here we go. <laughs> Do you want to hear more? I'm trying not to give it away. If I play if I play this instrument a certain way, it's going to give it away. Uh, so here you go, a couple more. All right, I want to see if there's any guesses. Um, and the answer to Cornelius's question, uh, where do I get my shirts from? Many of them come from, well, Rosanna's talking about Teespring. Yes, that is true. Uh, if you want to get the World Drum Club shirts, which you do, um, you can go to Teespring. This shirt is Tommy Bahama. So a lot of the shirts I wear, the colored ones like this one, are Tommy Bahama. All right. Hey, I think, okay, good guesses, you guys, but Bill is the winner for today. All right, this is today's Guess the Sound. Castanet, Castanet Machine. So let me show you this. Uh, let me go to the overhead, and I, if I have to, I'll focus it. But I think it's in focus. So I got this a long time ago, and I've used it in some recordings. Uh, one of the recordings I know it's on is on the tune called Notions on my second CD called Insights. And I use these right at the beginning, and I love them where they are. It's very effective. But, uh, yeah. So this, these are castanets or plastic castanets, and this this thing mounts, there's a, you see here, there's a, a little place where you can put it on a post. So you can mount this, um, for example, like on a timbali stand or something, or just a percussion stand. I usually just put it on a table. And then you can tap on the castanets and uh, they will make sounds. And the thing I like about this is that you don't need to learn how to hold and play the castanets, which is not that easy, right? That's like a whole thing. Uh, doing your fingers and, you know, uh, what do you call it, F fanning, the fanning finger technique. So um, I'm going to put this on my lap right now because I will not use a drum as a table, even though it's super tempting right now. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. So I'm just going to put these down here, and I'm going to play them with two hands, and then I can do, if they don't fall off, um, I can do stuff like, right? I can even try to do like, which sometimes I'm, I'm, uh, I can get that done. I need my castanet powder. You gotta powder up your fingertips for that one. All right, so yeah, pretty cool. Castanet machine, good guess, Bill. You get extra points today. You get seven instead of five. Usually it's five and they're completely meaningless and they're actually pointless points, but you get seven. Why? Because that's that's the number for today. All right. All right. So castanet machine, castanets for today's Guess the Sound. All right. Um, coming up next month, I want to tell you guys, we're going to make some music in a second, so don't go away. We've got another patented feature of the show, which is called Give Me Five. So let's get, let's get that uh, ready now. Um, yes, Roseanne, nobody, nobody's ever, none of us have used a drum as a table, right? Not even to write a check or to uh, look at your phone <laughs> when you're practicing. All right, I really try to not do that, though. It's so tempting, but I, I like to model proper drum respect and etiquette wherever I go, even though I haven't gone anywhere today. <laughs> but you have come to my studio uh, via the interwebs. So I want to I want to be a good model for you guys. Uh, percussion model. All right. A percussion model. Okay. Uh, before we move on to Gimme Five, let's go over Gimme Five is you one of you pick five instruments that I have around here. And uh, you can see some of the stuff. I've got a djembe over here. I've got cajon. We've got congas, bongos, bell, blocks, shakers, some stuff over here. Take a guess. Uh, and then you pick five things, and then uh, Roseanne will pick 
either, Roseanne will either pick the person for the give me five, or she has the option of uh, deputizing one of you, and then you pick the give me five person, except you can't pick yourself, all right? So just, that's the rule. <laughs> and you can't keep de deputizing people, all right? It's only one deputy, so that's the rule. Uh, she just posted it in the comments, so go look at that if you're not sure. And in the meantime, while you guys are thinking of that, I want to mention another Native American flute uh, opportunity that's coming up, and that is flute harvest. Um, and this, for those of you who don't know, this is a Native American style flute. Um, it's a wood flute. There are many kinds of wood flutes in the world. This is one of them. And uh, the thing that makes this instrument so uh, friendly and, and accessible is that it's basically got a whistle for the, the, the sound mechanism. You don't have to have a, what they call an embouchure. Uh, in other words, there are side-blown flutes, there are edge-blown flutes, and all those flutes, you have to work just to get the sound. You know, beautiful sounds like shakuhachi and a lot of flutes, a lot of flutes from around the world. These flutes, and I will demonstrate right now, it's a whistle. So all you need to do is blow into it, and then you're, the only other thing is you're covering and uncovering some of the holes. Uh, and I have, and, and other people have lots of lessons online, free on YouTube, uh, on how to play the Native American style flute. So if you're, if you're looking for an instrument that you could play easily and bring melody into the equation, and you guys just saw an example of that, I was playing over, I had an ukulele and a flute and some drums, and I was able to create a nice musical background and a chord progression. Um, and I am gonna talk about how I was able to play two different flutes in different keys over the same chord progression. That's a little technical, but I'll mention it in a minute. But this is a Native American style flute. We like to have reverb, hold on. We like our reverb with the flutes. All right, so this is an A flute. This is a mid A. And this little guy is a mid E. All right, so this is four notes higher, right? A, B, C, D, E, sorry, five. And um, the track I was playing to is uh, in A minor, so I can play this flute. Um, but I could also play the E flute because the music was four notes higher than my flute, E, F, G, A, right? E, F, G, A, one, two, three, four. And I used a different fingering and a different scale on this E flute. I used what's called the Spanish Gypsy scale on the six hole flute. So that's, I'm just gonna end the techno, I'm gonna end the explanation there. But what that's kind of a cool thing that you can do with these flutes is you can use a different fingering and a different scale, and then you can play in different keys, you know, with different background music. So it's really cool. It's not too technical, but we have a lot of fun with the Native American style flutes. So Flute Harvest is one of my retreats that's coming up, and it's in here in LA. It's with uh, my friend Clint Goss and his wife, Vera Shanoff. I'm one of the teachers. Some of you have been and are planning to come. So um, I hope you can join us sometime. All right, let's move on and start our Give Me Five journey. Yeah, we're right on time. We got about 15 minutes, so let's, um, let's get it going and see what we can do. And then while, and before that gets finalized, if you guys have any questions, uh, hey Chris, how are you? Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, shoot them in to the chat right now and I will do my best to answer them because we have a little bit of time before we do the Gimme Five. So let me know. In the meantime, maybe I will play the Thunder Tube, the Thunder Drum that I got when I was in Mexico. I love this one because it's just like if somebody made this, all right, it's got, it's got the spring in the head. So check this one out.
Proc <laughs> proximity to the mic makes a big difference. I was practically shoving the mic inside this thing or shoving this over the mic. Isn't that cool, you guys? I love this kind of stuff. All right. That's a thunder drum. I've already done this on Guess the Sound, so I, I thought about using it, but I've already done it. I'm trying to find new things to trick you guys, but usually somebody in the group will get it, which you should, because this is a percussion, <laughs> a percussion show. All right. Um, I'm seeing some Gimme Five action. Let's see, Corn Cornelius is also in. And we have Mr. Lacey jo Joyce. Oh, to pick. So take a few, take a few more seconds. Any questions? By the way, the chord progression that I was using for the, uh, the background earlier is called the Andalusian Cadence. It's an A minor, G, F, E7. And it's the same chord progression as the cat came back, for example, hit the road jack, happy together by the turtles, I will survive most of what the Gypsy Kings put out. <laughs> Lots of flamenco music. It's a very popular chord progression. So um, I was just teaching off of this progression and teaching the Spanish Gypsy scale. And I thought I'd share it with you for today's Tuesday Musing. Um, all right. So Andalusian cadence, like the horses Andalusia or Andalusia, the place where the Andalusian horses are from. I think they're, that's a type of horse. So yeah, it's nice. All right. So also uh, that, that, that uh, scale, Spanish gypsy scale, just for those of you who are music theory nerds, is the same notes as the harmonic minor scale, but the Spanish gypsy scale starts on the fifth degree of the harmonic minor scale. So uh, we use, it's the same scale, but we, we use it differently and then it gets another name because it's basically a mode. A, it's a different mode of the same scale. Harmonic minor, Spanish gypsy. All right, so Bill is picking, all right. Bill's picking the Gimme Five, and we're uh, we're gonna wait. I I have a delay over here, so okay. Bongo, cajon, flute, shaker, woodblock. All right. So bongos and cajon are the drums, and then flute, shaker, woodblock. Bill, what kind of flute would you like? High pitch, media, mid pitch, or low? Because I do have a couple. Nice bassy bass flutes over here, which could be a nice contrast. I don't know. Or it could all be high, higher pitched. It's okay. Well, I think we, I think Bill already, okay. I'm going to let you decide, Roseanne. I was going to go with Bill because I, I thought he was picked for the Gimme Five. But it seems like there was a little confusion. <laughs> Either way, I'm okay. Just let me know what you guys want to do. I'm going to wait for a second. I will play a bass flute in the meantime, just so you guys can hear. Here's an A. Look at this sucker. I have to put them over there because they take up too much room. Let's do a little uh, a, a, a bass A. Okay, and in honor of Bill Day, we're going to do the Gimme Five. All right, so it is Bill's Gimme Five. Let me make sure. So I'm going to clear. 
I'm gonna clear a couple congas away because we don't need them. So I'm gonna get set up, right? That's what you guys would do if you have a certain selection of instruments and I want them to be accessible and easy to reach. I'm gonna put a couple things here. So what do you want, Bill? Low, low flute, high flute, it's up to you, or mid. Not mid as in what young people call stuff that's just kind of like meh. <laughs> Not that kind of mid, but mid-pitched. All right, and what hap what is happening? Okay. Everybody wants reggae. <laughs> We could, I could probably do that, but it's up to Bill. So Bill, could you just, well, if you don't let me know in a minute, I'm gonna start and I'm gonna do your instruments with, uh, in a reggae style with whatever flutes I, I choose. That's what's happening. All right, I have another flute stand over here. I'm gonna grab it. I have a little floor flute stand. So I can put that there. All right, Roseanne says low A. I, did Bill leave the building? The bill ding? The bill ding? All right, that, I'm gonna stop with that. That's enough dad jokes for today. Um, all right, let's do it. So I think it was, <laughs> was it cowbell or, blo or woodblock? Could you post it again? Because now it's gone out of my... I know it was cajon, bongos, flute. And now we're doing... <laughs> don't push it, Cornelius. He's like 7-8 reggae. I don't even know what that is. I'll work on that. Okay, Bill says medium flute. Uh, Roseanne said low flute. So maybe we'll do both. How about that? All right, let's, let's go. Let's go. Um, I'm going to... Oh, by the way, I've got to set up my rhythm track that I listen to. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, and I'm gonna clear out the looper. Hang on. I like that we're working together. See, we're, we're getting some stuff figured out here, you guys. Let me see if Oh, here we go. I'm gonna go. All right, let's see if this will work. Still setting up. <laughs> Here we go.
little song I wrote. You might want to learn it note for note. Don't worry. Be happy. Cause in your life, you'll have some trouble. And if you worry, you'll make it double. Don't worry. Be happy now. Everybody, come on. choosing today's uh, Gimme Five. Well done. And uh, this is what happened. And Minnie K is here. 
right up in there somewhere. I've discovered once once he's there, I can't get rid of him either. He just stays till the end. Um, all right, you guys, thanks for dropping in. Again, sorry for the rough start, computer stuff, but we move on and we adapt and we just, uh, you know, hopefully persevere. So I hope you guys are all adapting and persevering and making music wherever you are, no matter what, no matter who's trying to stop you or what technology is trying to get in your way. Just keep going and don't get discouraged. And <laughs> yay, Mini K. You guys are more excited about Mini K than you are about me. That's okay because he is also me and I am also him as we all are each other. All right. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Um, I just posted a lesson on World Drum Club. And if you like this, please go and join us at patreon.com slash Kalani. I appreciate your, your support. Just chip in a little each month and we can do more. And I have, I'm not even going to tell you, but I have, what I will tell you is I just talked to a buddy of mine who's on tour right now with a very famous singer songwriter. And he said, he's going to try to do a, you remember that thing we did a while back called show me your kits or show us your kits. Uh, I think it was, he's going to try to do a little percussion setup tour of his percussion setup that he is on tour with right now. I think it'll be fun. He's a super famous percussionist. Uh, like I said, he's on the road right now. So that's in the works. There'll be other stuff coming on, uh, especially for patrons. Thanks, you guys. Uh, be sure to say goodbye. Leave a kind comment or, or anything you want in the chat. And uh, <laughs> I love your guys' chat, chat comments. You guys are hilarious. All right. We'll see you next time. All right. Thanks for being here, everybody. And now I'll leave Mini K up in the corner. Drum Club.